I think the message that the gospel has uh, in terms of freedom for man's everyday life um, is really a counterintuitive message. So you would think that if we know the work is done, that, that um, the bar has been crossed, the, the standard has been met by Jesus, and now we are considered justified, totally measured up, that we would be inclined to sort of ease off and, and, and go on autopilot. But what really happens is sort of when a man understands that he uh, measures up, that the victory is sure, he actually finds uh, more energy, uh, a great power. And the great um, illustration that I can think of is uh, when you're way ahead, say, you know, playing basketball in a basketball game and you're winning, that the energy just like comes from nowhere. I mean, you just have this boundless energy because the victory seems sure. And yet the further behind you are, if you're losing the game, it gets harder and harder and harder. You see the mountain to climb to catch up or, uh, you know, to overcome, and, but you just sort of feel dejected and defeated. And I think the gospel works somewhat like that. Somehow to know that we are totally justified, that it is finished, actually empowers us getting to work. There's a joy, there's a freedom there. And so I think the man set free by the gospel uh, is really free, really empowered to work with um, a sense of worship.